afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. God is good. <laughs> In a quarter mile, turn left onto State Route 549 North. I just got into an accident that, thank God, I'm fine. Very minimal, almost nothing damage that I can tell so far, I hope. Take Maybe I'll have to look at it later. When I, have, when I have time to stop in a safe place to stop. But uh, everything's fine with my car. Thank God. Praise God. Among the, the, the public, among the many. Continue for eight miles. I, I uh, give praise to the Almighty. So, uh, I was at the Pennsylvania Prison Chaplains Association uh, at their conference uh, the past few days. And then I had a wedding that I was supposed to do on Sunday, but the couple could not get their license. And they let me know yesterday they finally got the license up in Elmira, New York. So even though from Carlisle, Pennsylvania to Elmira, it's straight north, it's been three and a half hours. Well, I'm like, all right, I'll go up to Elmira. I'm 15 miles from Elmira now. I was about uh, five miles from here, or maybe eight miles from here. When I got the accident, uh, the GPS sent me on some rural road instead of on the highway. And I, uh, I was going a little too fast which people know I tend to do. I spent I spent the night in jail for going too, for too fast. I thought I should have learned my lesson then. Uh, but, uh, and I did for a few years. <laughs> that was, oh, 15 years ago. Now I'm in it, where I'm driving now, there's signs for Amish buggies, so I really better slow down. But anyway, uh, going up this hill, there's a turn and there's this big tractor in front of me. And, there was no way I was going to stop. I was going to hit that tractor. That would have been bad news. So I turned, thinking I could stop. Wound up going down a hill, pretty steep hill. Almost would almost call that going down a cliff. Uh, kept going for another 50 feet or so. Got stuck in some mud, and uh, I was stuck there. And some folks saw what happened. They stopped. And they said, you know, he was wrong. I said, you know, it's all in God's hands. This is all. Thank God I'm okay. I was only one in the car. And, um, and then, uh, and, and it seems like very little damage was done to the car. The, there's a, the carriage, the undercarriage to protect the body did fall off. The big piece of, piece of plastic. I, took that it's in my pack seat now because it wouldn't fit in my trunk and uh, <laughs> here I am uh, I couldn't get out of the mud trying to drive out the tractor guy went and got another tractor I guess it was his son someone came along uh, with the bucket he said he's afraid of a car like this he's gonna crush the car I said try it anyway I get stuck in the in the mud all the time in the in the, in the ice in the, in the summer. I'm in Bradford County now. My, I, my family is not from Bradford County, they're from Bradford and McKean County. That's something different. Anywho, uh, way back, uh, my great great grandparents, my great grand my great grandfather lived in in Bradford and moved to Astoria, uh, where my great grandmother was from and my grandmother was born. Anyway, but uh, that's Bradford, Pennsylvania. This is in McKean County. This is Bradford County, Pennsylvania. Where I have now. Anywho, uh, he pushed it out, and I got out. And I'm on the road again, and it's all by the grace of God. And I'm thankful to the Virgin Shalala for for the chesed that this little wake up call in Elwell, it was. It was it was a wake up call. I did a lot of sins. I gotta repent. For it. We all we're all in the same boat with that. But praise God. 
Glory to the Hashem, keep telling of Kilo Pasto. Give thanks to the Lord for his blood, for his kindness lasts forever. I guess this is Mosherville. So anyway, 12 miles from Elmira. Anyway, uh, I had all plans. I'm going to stop in Elmira because I'm going to get there early for the wedding. So I'll go visit Mark Twain's grave again and Hal Roach's grave. You can see those videos on the channel from many years ago when I went up to Buffalo and I stopped in Elmira on the way down just so I could get out and stretch my legs a bit and not fall asleep. Um, I'm so thankful to the British Little. This was like uh, to get out, you know, it was super easy, barely an inconvenience. Like, uh, like Ryan George says, uh, I don't like his latest video because it's kind of uh, against freedom of speech a bit. I don't know, but anyway, my, his videos are, are usually pretty funny. Um, but, you know, it's like the pitch meeting, super easy, barely an inconvenience, and that's what I had. I, I got out of here, I got out of the mud, got back on the road. Car shaking a bit, probably needs a, probably needs a, what do you call it, uh, an alignment, which I needed anyway. But uh, here we are, on the road again, by the grace of God. Give thanks to the Lord for his goodness. His kindness lasts forever. And uh, no special message here, just, just gratitude. Which is always appropriate to do in a public setting. Uh, that's where we're holding. That this is my Rabbim. I'll have to ask a Shaila if I'm chayv to. to uh, I'm definitely one of the chayavim. That, that the British Shalom was a goymel, a chayavim toivus. That I'm one of the guilty people that, that God in His grace and goodness just uh, bestows goodness. Upon, upon us, uh, even though we don't deserve it. Welcome to New York. That's New York. That's that's the New York border there. <laughs> when you see that the the road changes, the pavement changes. Uh, so Masuch Rabba Mahalalka. That's that's the whole thing among the many. Praise God, and in public, and so I don't know if uh, Shabbos morning I'll be benching Goyim or not, but certainly I, I thank God who is a Goyim Elchayav and Toivish Sikmalani called to. I give thanks to, to to the Almighty Lord, our God, the King of the Universe, who bestows goodness, and blessings, and benefit. Guilty people like me, to sinners like me, and who has bestowed all good things upon me, and I give them thanks and praise for that. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe, comment. See you all later. It was funny, I was on the phone with my wife when it happened, and then after I already told her what happened, she's like, Are you dead? I was like, No, I'm talking to you, and I'm thank God I'm fine. My seatbelt on, but really, the seatbelt is just is just the, the grace of God. It's it's a tool that God uses to bless us. A good car like this, which doesn't look like it would have survived something like that, it's a miracle. And I thank God for those miracles. And I'm sorry, and I ask for forgiveness for all my sins, uh, including uh, including speeding, including that Dina Malthus and Dina. So, um, but, but I'm, I'm thankful and praising. Right. Sorry for this if, if it was annoying or it was just I, I have to do it. And I, uh, I, 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 I love you all. Thank you for watching. And I wish you all a very happy new year.